thought I'd take you guys through a brief overview of our bio-billet reactors. Uh, this one in particular is the Model 1000. It's a newer model, and i um, give you a little kind of breakdown here. The unit's uh, 8 inches in diameter. It's 24 inches tall to that point. And uh, you can see the, the media is tumbling very gently, which is really the ideal. This media also, you can, if you notice, it's larger than most uh, commonly offered media and that it's specifically designed for aquaculture and large public aquarium installations. So that's a new product we're working with on these large reactors and working on some uh, very large reactors for some public aquariums, 5, 10, 20,000 gallons and larger. So that's uh, some new products coming out. But anyhow, um, once um, you get the reactor all set up and get it full of water, and one of the most important things to do, of course, is to make sure you soak the pellets for at least two days because I'm saturated. Um, you can fill it up and plug it in and get it running. And here's some of the adjustments on the Eheim models. You can use this valve to slow down flow coming out of the motor itself directly. Um, and that's kind of an independent control from uh, the uh, the main tumbling control, which is the valve up above. This is the intake to the system. So that blue tube goes over, in this case, into this sump, and it's just pulling water into this right from that area. And then back in the back, you can see that white tube with the stream of water coming out. That is the return to the system. And uh, you can see it's, it's a fairly decent clip of water now that it's focused here. And that can be adjusted by, um, on the top of the reactor, We'll show you in a second here. There's a gray valve, and that valve um, has a blue handle. This one right, that one right there. And as you adjust that, that controls the amount of water leaving the reactor, which controls the amount of water coming into the reactor. So you can see the difference in the amount of water volume just in the back there. So coming around this side, this is the main flow control for the um, tumbling control for the bio pellet reactor. So as you open it up and increase flow, you'll see the pellets tumbling much quicker and more violently and um, that's it's a great thing to do once or twice a month or even weekly just to dislodge any uh, of the metabolic materials the byproducts of the metabolic process of bacteria running the reactor and then of course you can use a valve to tumble it back down if you happen to get pellets like this stuck on the intake screen this is because usually it's when they're new they're full of air bubbles and you just shut that valve all the way off the pellets will all fall off and then you can open the valve slowly again to get your tumbling the way you want it and uh, not kick up too many um, pellets up to the top. But yeah, until the bubbles dislodge, which sometimes can take a few days, um, it's not a worry to have um, some pellets up at the intake screen there. So here we getting it back up to uh, the way we want it in terms of the tumbling rate. And that's pretty much it. The reactor's not that much more complicated. There's a shot of one of our uh, new hybrid recirculating protein skimmers. But um, that's, that's pretty much it. So if you have questions, please don't hesitate to call me at 707-733-3411 uh, or email me at sales at reefdynamics.com. And you can also visit our webpage at reefdynamics.com. And don't forget to check out the other videos um, on our YouTube channel at Reef Dynamics MFG. And you can do a search for our videos there. And, you know, leave you with a shot of those beautifully tumbling pellets.